Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a full moon reading. So this would be Aries full moon on the 13th. I guess it's at 5.08 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So this is just a, a full moon reading. We're going to get one of these, one of these, one of these, and then we're going to use this deck right here. I feel like as though the angels are waiting. And uh, angels are waiting. It's like they're waiting for your request. They're waiting to fulfill you. They're waiting for, to assist. And I had taken out the angels, and I and I uh, get my camera ready, and I, I put it on for a second to make sure I got it focused good, and I and then I get my cards and everything ready, and put my rings on, whatever, and I stopped it at 44, 44 seconds, so that I had already heard that the to get the angels out because it's about the angels, and I could have got my other angels, but whatever. And then when I shut it off, it was exactly 44 seconds, which 44 is this angels. Okay, it's angels. So there's some sort of universal guidance, and it's like the angels are assisting. They're here, they're assisting. So something to do with the angels. Um, they're waiting. They're waiting to assist you. So ask. They're right here. They're right behind you. They're with you. They're around. They're, they're guiding you. There's some sort of universal guidance, okay? So let's start right here. Well, that don't, yeah, there's, they're waiting, look at this, oh, it's amazing, look at that angel behind her, amazing, so we have this angel is like giving her something, okay, giving her an opportunity, um, assisting, this person is stressed, this person is having regrets, this person is sad, um, crying, upset and there's this angel that is saying here 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 now that is the swords are thoughts swords are ideas swords are opportunities they really are they're an opportunity to take a new approach you can get out of this here 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 you go here you go. So we do have this. This is the nine of swords. This is this is painful. This is stressful. But there's an angel assisting, which there is. There's an angel. Maybe it's your guardian angel. Could be somebody that has passed away. But there's definitely angel assistance here. Somebody is in a state of despair. And it's about something closure. Nines are about closure. It's time for closure. Nines are a sign to move on. And it's like this angel is here to assist you to move on. Okay? So there's some sort of assistance. Move on from this stressful situation. You've been trapped. And we have the eight swords up here. Somebody has been trapped in their mind. But this is the means to escape. You have the power. That's the sword of power. It's like this angel is giving you the power to escape from this confinement. You have been confined and it's like they're 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 they're, they're, they're like going to lift you up. They can help you if you allow them to. What do we have for the 13th? Between worlds. Between worlds. We're going to read that one. In between. Which makes sense. But we're going to read it. We're going to get one of these. One card. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, angels. Thank you. Just ask. There are many here in the spirit world that I can assist you at this time. It flew out of the deck. You saw it happen. We are made up of the divine source. Your loved ones, friends, guides, angels, and spirit helpers who are waiting to assist you. We are your spiritual team. And all you have to do is ask for our help and guidance. I... If you could believe like I believed, you would know, okay? Uh, 
There is angels here to assist you. It is clear. Very, 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 couldn't be any more clearer. It couldn't be, okay? And I'm going to read between worlds. Why is that getting blurry? There's a spirit here. It happened during the Gemini reading as well. There's a spirit that is getting in front of that camera. Spirit, please stop. Please let me do this reading. Please. between worlds. Transitions, not being quite out of one situation and fully engaged in another. Temporary blindness, a no man's land. Between the worlds is where you must let go of the tendency to make assumptions. This is a time when you are unable to see what is ahead. Cultivate curiosity and trust the process of change and growth. You are done learning the lessons of recent experiences in this place between what was and what will be. It is the state of making and unmaking and making again. What is essential now is to admit not knowing. There is great freedom and power to be unleashed. A mystery that is not yours to understand weaves the web of life. Within a divine matrix of consciousness greater than your own thoughts, feelings, beliefs, desires, and decisions, the seeds that were planted in the past begin to take root. But what surfaces will probably not be what you expect. When you are in between worlds, you are invited to see with the curious eyes of a child glimpsing a rainbow for the first time. Do so, and you will not be disappointed. This is a time to explore the new energy between you and another. This is new. It is not a moment for certainty, but rather for discovery and curiosity. You don't yet know if it will last forever, so allow yourself to explore who you are and what is reflected back to you. This relationship is meant to educate you about yourself. What do you need? What do you like or dislike? What values are important to you? You are in a critical phase of your relationship that is not to be dismissed or hurried. Be mindful of your expectations. This is not a time for guarantees. Things will not go exactly as you plan or dictate. Let go and see what spirit has in store. What takes hold in your life will be better than you can imagine. Angels are here to assist you into that better, better life. That's what we got. Are you ready for the message? <laughs> well, what do we have, dear God, angels, spirits, and universe, for the 13th of October, this Aries full moon? Whew. We have the Knight of Pentacles. This is making a practical approach, taking a practical approach. Somebody is coming in with an offer of some sort, delivering this guy. This it's like he's giving it to this owl, and the owl's gonna go deliver it. So somebody is delivering a gift. There is a gift coming, and it's like and and an owl is a symbol of change. It's a symbol of death. Through through transformation, there is a gift. So we do have a gift here. Through through death, there is some sort of gift.
Eight of Pentacles. King of Swords reversed. Eight of Wands. Four of Wands. Six of Pen. Somebody is definitely receiving a gift. A gift. It could be of a new companion, a, a new commitment. This is the Four of Wands, new, newfound happiness, a new suitor even, perhaps. There's going to be a celebration. There is. This is a celebration. Wh whatever this, this is a solid, op solid gift that you may want to invest in. Okay, look at these pentacles. This is something that... with work and effort can really grow into some sort of strong commitment because this is a commitment receiving and this could be a life partner this is like a, a four of wands that's like a life partner it is it's a life partner i don't know if this is somebody that you have worked with before we do have the king of swords reversed the king of swords reversed is somebody that is cold but this is moving forward. This is moving forward from the past. So somebody, this is uh, Six of Cups reverse. This is somebody that has been clinging to the memories of the past, but moving forward. Moving away from a, an abusive, somebody that was abusive. Somebody is, is moving away from an abusive, an abusive past. And this is somebody new. This is somebody new. This is somebody new coming in. This is somebody who puts in effort. Somebody that doesn't give up. Somebody that works really hard. And that really works hard. Look at this. This is a hard worker. So it's like we have a hard worker here that is coming in. Somebody that doesn't give up easily. This person's looking for a commitment. They're looking for happiness. So it may be somebody that you have worked with. There's, there could be, you know, this is working together with somebody, but this is somebody that you may have worked with for sure in the past. There is some sort of definite communication coming in, collaboration with somebody. It's like you're going to be working with somebody. I don't know who it is. That's the hangman reversed. So you're going to be working. Maybe you've worked with this person in the past. Who is this person? Could be a Pisces. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But this is moving very quickly towards working together with somebody. Getting unstuck. Somebody is getting unstuck. We have the temperance reversed. Frustrated. Somebody is frustrated. They are... They're impatient. They want to move quickly. Somebody is going to want to move quickly. They don't have any patience. The high priestess. It's like they know. They know that. Something happened for a reason. They know this is a reason. It's like they know that they can't. Change. But they have changed. The, the hangman reversed. That's somebody has changed. We have this high priestess here that is very much aware and in her power.
Nine of Wands reverse. Great purse doesn't trust. Doesn't think. Uh, you know what I think is going to happen is I feel like there is somebody that you have worked with in the past that is, you know, going to want to reunite. But there's great personal fear. There's distrust. It's like I, I don't believe that you have changed. But this person may say that they have changed. They may want to work with you. They may want to put in effort. They, it's like they've come to save you. This is somebody that you know. Somebody that you know that you have worked with. You have worked with. And I think that... Uh, there's there's, there, there's uh, the Queen of Cups. They see it. They see an opportunity for love. They see an opportunity for love. Somebody may have be expressing their love. Somebody's going to be expressing their love. It's like this. This person may have been abusive in the past. They didn't want to be held accountable. They didn't treat another person fairly. And it's like now they're communicating. What the hell is this? This is like an offer. It's like this person just wants to put in effort now. They want to have a commitment. Who is this person? That's what I want to know. Who is this person? Judgment. Okay, so this is somebody from the past. The judgment is somebody from the past. And it's like this is the judge is somebody that has passed away that is guiding two people together. This is a past life connection. So when I say somebody from the past, this could be somebody that you don't even know yet. I think this is somebody you do know though, or if when you meet this person, you're gonna be feel very, very, very familiar with this person. This is some sort of reconciliation with a past life soulmate. This four of wands is a soulmate. And this is a soul, a resurrection of a, like a soulmate. It is, of your soul. So there's this is like a soulmate reunion. But we we have this high priestess up here. This is some, the high priestess is some, but she doesn't trust. There's great personal fear. She doesn't trust. She's not trusting it. She's not trusting it. Um... She has a big heart. We do have somebody here that has a really, really, really big heart. Has a lot, is, is, is an empath. This person is an empath. She feels deeply. She's, she feels very, very deeply and she doesn't trust. It's like this person, the hangman reversed. This person is going to like make some communicate or want to work together and communicate. But she's, you know... Mm. She's been hurt so bad, so bad. Three, her, her heart has been broken, the three of, the three of swords. She's been stabbed right in the heart. That's why she doesn't trust. Stabbed in the heart by somebody in the past. So this could be somebody different. Somebody was stabbed in the heart in the past. Like stabbed right in the freaking heart. And it's like, I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to go through that again. You know, her heart has healed. Her heart has healed. The Six of Cups, this is clinging to the memories of the past. It's like, this is the past. An abusive, an abuser. The King of Swords in reverse is an abuser. This person is cold. They are withdrawn and they, they're mean but this is some sort of reconciliation and this is this is somebody from the somebody that has passed away or angels or whoever this is your spirit it's just like your spirit guys somebody from the past your ancestors whatever is bringing two people together this is some sort of reconciliation with somebody that you have known before whether this is one of your exes or somebody that you have known before it's somebody that you have known before okay this is a past life connection and this person is coming with an, a solid offer this person is they have something real to offer this person isn't going to give up they want a commitment
This is very unexpected. You could meet this person at a celebration of some sort because that is a celebration. The Four of Wands could be at a church. I was just going to say it could be at a funeral because it, it could be at a funeral. I don't know where that came from, but um, it could be through your job as well. You could meet this person or you've worked with this person. It's like you've worked with them before. Whatever that means. Whether you've worked with them physically at a job or you've worked with them in, them in some sort of situation. But this is Judgment Day. Judgment is a card of forgiveness. It's a card of releasing. And this is releasing the past. That this is an opportunity for happiness, an opportunity to forgive, and an opportunity to release the, the past. And work together with somebody. Because there is working together here. And this is absolutely divinely guided. It's like this angel is giving somebody the power to end a stressful situation that they have been trapped in. Communicate. That's also the sort of communication. It's like communicate. You have the power. You do. You have the power. We're here to... And they're here to assist. It's like we do have angels that are assisting... It's like they're 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 bringing two people together. That's what we got here. But we do have somebody that has great personal fear and doesn't trust and has their guard up because they've been stabbed so bad in the heart by somebody in the past. So, it's almost it almost feels like you called in this soulmate. You asked for this soulmate. That's what it is, too. Thank you. You asked for this soulmate, and here it is. It's time for you to receive it. This is what you asked for. If you are in a coupled relationship, you, there, you, you could receive some sort of guidance, intuitive guidance, intuitive guidance. Maybe you don't trust somebody because this is distrust. You maybe maybe this person is working together with somebody else. This is that is what this is. So there there's somebody that is working together with somebody else. And you may know it. The hangman reverse is getting unstuck, coming out of confusion, being enlightened, seeing the truth. Somebody is seeing the truth. Whether if you're in a, if you're in a coupled relationship, I feel like you're gonna get some sort of message from the other side. Somebody is working with somebody else. <laughs> Very intuitive day. There's going to be messages from above that are coming in. Probably at lightning speed. It feels like there's going to be a lots of intuitive messages. Like, you know, your mind's probably going to be racing. Somebody's being in an abusive situation. And it's like they're being hurt or they have been. It could go money both ways. Somebody is being stabbed. Somebody is being hurt. Somebody is is dealing with a broken heart. That is painful. That's a broken heart. Ace of Swords reversed. Somebody hasn't been telling the truth. Somebody hasn't been telling the truth. We have somebody here that's been lying and it's and it's heartbreaking. It is heartbreaking. There's dishonesty. 
There is absolutely some dishonesty, but I think that this is the truth coming out, and this is the truth. It's like the truth being revealed. Somebody hasn't been speaking the truth, but now the truth is about to be revealed. I'm telling you what. So if somebody has been keeping secrets, here comes the truth. Somebody is about to reconcile with a life partner. After being in some sort of abusive situation. There's going to be divine messages. There's divine. This is what this one is. There's divine, divine guidance here. Somebody is going to give an angel or God or spirits is going to give somebody the power, the power to break free from an abusive situation once and for all and come together, work together with somebody that is a hard worker, somebody that can make them happy, somebody that they have known before. It's somebody that they have met in a past life. And this is freedom. The hey man reversed is freedom. It's like you asked for it, and here it is. So I feel like this full moon is about release. It's about forgiveness. It's about rising. And it's about working together with somebody else. I don't know who this is, but it is. It's working together with somebody else after a painful situation. Very painful, heartbreaking. It's like somebody sees an opportunity for love. And they, they, they move. They make a move. They move fast towards this opportunity for love. It's like, I want that love. I want that love. It's like, it's, a, they, 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 it's almost like they get put under a spell. And this is an angel bringing love quickly. This is a long one, huh? We're going to get one of these angel romance cards. Today is a, is a day about of receiving. Receiving something. Receiving balance. Somebody is like coming in with a solid offer. This person is practical. This person is a hard worker. This person um, is not going to give up. They're not going to just give up on you. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. So yeah, there is going to probably be some heart-to-heart -heart conversations with somebody. You're going to feel very familiar with this person, probably like you've known them forever. Good luck.